Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Headlines, a series from the Korea Journal Daily in which we take a look at headlines from international media that mention Korean athletes or Korean teams or in today's case, Korean coaches. I'm Jim Billy and of course today we are having a look at Park Hang So, the I guess now legendary coach of the Vietnamese national football team. So we'll start off, of course, with the Korea Journal Daily. There it is. Korea Journal Daily goes with Park Hang So works his magic again. The subheadline: Korean coach leads Vietnam to historic Suzuki Cup victory. Vietnamese football team head coach Park Hang So led his team to another historic achievement on Saturday, winning the Suzuki Cup for the first time in 10 years. A very Park Hang So heavy angle. Of course, we're a Korean newspaper, so that's not surprising. The good news is, is that other new media from around the world have gone for the same thing. This is from Eurosport, the European kind of ESPN equivalent. The story comes from Reuters, but it's still cool that a European media outlet has run it. Wild celebrations in Hanoi as Vietnam win regional title. You don't have to go very far into the story to find Park Hang So's name. Uh, they talk about the Under-23 Asian Cup in January, the Asian Games Tournament, all three teams coached by Park Hang So and his contribution was recognised by a number of South Korean flags carried by the Revelers. Revelers is people celebrating. And later in the story, you know, there's a quote here. We have so much to thank Mr. Park Hang So for. Thank you, Mr. Park, for bringing us the festive atmosphere and the success that the whole nation have been waiting for. Really, thank you, Mr. Park Hang So. That's just a Vietnamese person on the street. Again, the Star Online, a Malaysian publication. Now, Malaysia obviously not that happy about Vietnam winning the Suzuki Cup. Star Online goes for Korean coach Hang So, hailed as a legend after Vietnam's win. Hang So rather than Park Hang So in the headline is not ideal. But again, this angle is very much about Park Hang So. Streets around Hanoi were adorned with pictures of Vietnam head coach Park Hang So and South Korean flags as the nation rejoiced the country's victory. So again, very, very heavily talking about Park Hang So. This whole article talks about his history as the assistant to Gus Hiddink back in 2002. Uh, more international news, Goal.com. Now this is kind of cool that Goal.com covered this because that's a major world footballing uh, publication and Suzuki Cup is really a very regional thing. Park grateful for South Korean support in Vietnam's second AFF Cup win. Again, the story is all about Park Hang So and how he has thanked South Korea for supporting him as well as Vietnamese fans. And then the final one I want to have a look at, now this is a little bit interesting. This is from Fox Sports Asia, again a fairly major publication covering it. And this article is called Five Reasons Why Vietnam Deserve to Win the Cup. You know, reason number one is their team unity. Reason number two is their consistency. Reason number three is their lethal attack. Reason number four is their unbreakable defense. Reason number five is that they're the best among the ASEAN nations. You'll notice Park Hang So was not one of those five. The thing that's cool is that a lot of Vietnamese readers notice that as well. And if you go down to the comment section, literally, number one, you forgot to mention Mr. Park. Thank you, Mr. Park and Vietnam. The third comment, number six, Mr. Miracle Park, the person of the year, the national team's beloved coach. So even on this article that's not mentioning Park Hang So, the Vietnamese commentators are very quick to make sure that he gets a shout out. So that's a great showing for a Korean coach in international media. And of course, in Korean media as well, we're very proud of Park Hang So's achievement. That's it for headlines this week. Please leave some comments down below with anything you'd like us to talk about in the future. We'll be back next week with more headlines about Korean athletes and Korean teams and Korean coaches from around the world. Thank you.